the Which ca- liberal are you talking about? The, the old traditional liberal or the today's liberal? Well, because there's nothing liberal about today's liberal. Nothing. They've hijacked that that name they've hijacked democracy uh-huh. the democrat party everything and uh, there's nothing liberal about it really i mean seriously we are the ones who started in the 60s and 70s yes. the liberal movement there's nothing liberal about this okay. the only liberalism there is is when the person goes into that booth to vote and half these people they're going to vote not liberal, that's for sure. But you know, half, you, half of which blame, people? Half of which people? them saying we're liberal when you know media people they say anything and they lose their job, just like um, I forget her name, you know. She, oh, uh, Lara Logan. Yeah. I mean, Cheryl Atkinson. So many of them. I mean, it's the same as in restaurants or businesses. You know, they voice out their conservative views, and they get thrown out. What country were your parents from? My parents were from Iran. Okay. Can you tell us about how the Marxists and Islamists teamed up to co- create a revolution? It's exactly the same story. Throw out mayhem, throw out problems so people, neighbors, brothers, f- family, they hate each other. And the next step is to subdivide everybody and uh, you know the old saying divide and conquer and before you know it they come back and they say oh we can help you did the marxists i uh, sorry did the islamists come to power in iran through an alliance with marxists absolutely absolutely humani couldn't have done it without the students without the um academia they were very very they were highly highly um disciplined and very well run, very efficient. The Mos- Islamic movement was not at all efficient. They used them, they got in power. Who used who? The Islamic movement. They used the Marxists? Absolutely. And after they got in, they beheaded so many students. It's unbelievable. So many liberals. <laughs> Leftists. Uh, I would say socialist. Marxist, yes. Not not liberals, no. These are, were hardcore communists. Are the Islamists a part of the Democrat movement today? Joe Biden is he speaks to Muslim groups about Palestine. You see the thing is right now everybody is jumping on the ship. Uh, Islamists for their own cause are also coming in here now. They have, you know, a little piece of the pie as well. Everybody uh, I mean, everybody who hates America is taking a little nibble of that pie under the big tent umbrella of the of the Democrat fascist alliance. What the what people don't understand is that the framework of the Constitution of the United States of America has led to the freest, the most prosperous and the most opportunity laden equal opportunity nation on earth not perfect with its flaws but the closest to perfection that this world has ever seen and what the conservatives what people who are conservatives are are conserving is the liberal framework of the constitution in the united states of america so you have conservatism protecting liberal values what the Democrats stand for is they stand for the destruction of the Constitution. They are, they are anti-conservative, but they're also anti-liberal. They are a bunch of fascists. All fascists unite until they get power. You have fascists who masquerade under the umbrella of human rights and leftism. You have fascists that masquerade under the umbrella of nationalism. You have fascists that masquerade under many different umbrellas. And by doing that, they endear themselves to whatever the prevailing popular value system is at the time. But fascists, when it all boils down to it, are all the same. The Islamic fascists, 
the 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 Nazi fascists. Are we experiencing fascism in America right now? Yes, total fascism. From, where from? There's nothing liberal about this. This is fascism. When you can't, when you can't speak out what you think or what you feel, uh, that's fascism. That's totalitarianism. You asked about Islamist movement. Look at Rashid Tlaib and Omar. They're part of this movement. They're part of the Islamic movement. They're they're cutting out their own piece of pie. But aren't they just? Uh basic Muslim Americans? Not at all, not at all. All these movements, they realize alone they cannot defeat Trump or what he stands for, everything America. So, just like in Iran, they know, they realize they've got to give hand in hand and the attitude is for right now, let's just bring him down and then we'll sort ourselves out. That's that's the only way they can bring him and his people and the states of, uh, United States down. Individually, they can't, they, and they realize that. So right now, they're all united. Where does China fit in this picture? Where, where's China in this? Uh... That's, that's one of the pieces of the pie. They're also supporting this with money. Why would China want the Democrats to win? Because they're so weak. Because the Democrats are? The, the Democrats are so weak. I mean, look at what Obama and what Biden did with China. Gave away the House. They gave, gave away the House with Iran. Of course, I mean, you know, uh, they don't want someone strong who can stand up against them and tell them to basically, if you don't like it, you know, we don't need you. Is China trying to soften Americans to, towards communism? They have realized themselves that communism is dead. That's why they have this capitalist, Marxist kind of a style about their lifestyle. It's basically the few ruling the masses. You know? But isn't that what we have in this country? We have a, a representative no, 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 republic? The difference, the difference between capitalism and all the others, I mean, they're all the same. The few in the top enjoy it and the masses work for it. The difference is capitalism allows you to move up if you want to put your back to it and work and, and you're free to do that. Whereas in uh, Marxism or China or Russia, if they see that you're getting too powerful, too strong, whether it's in business or in politics or whatever, they'll chop you down. That doesn't happen. Well, it does happen, but in a legal way. It's called competition. Well, if the Iranians have an experience with this combination of Islamism and Marxism together, why aren't they telling more Americans about it? Aren't Iranian Americans concerned about it? I mean, with the experience that they've had 30-some uh, years ago. If you look at the Iranian generation that came out initially, they were never really into politics in Iran. They were, they were merchants, business people, this, that, and the other, but they weren't into politics because it was a kind of a no-no. But the new generation is now I, I am seeing more and more young people involved in politics, American politics. My cousin, she's now uh, a New York State uh, senator, even though a Democrat. <laughs> but, you know, um, the younger generation are beginning to get involved because they can do so here. Whereas the older generation in Iran, it really wasn't uh, very wise. <laughs>